ನಾವು ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದಿಂದ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಎರಡರಿಂದನೂ ನಾವು ಮಂಡಳಿ ಸಿಬ್ಬಂದಿ ವರ್ಗನ ರಿಕ್ರೂಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನೇಮಕಾತಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬರ್ತಿದ್ದೀವಿ ತಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿದ್ದಂಗೆ ಈಗ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ನೂರ ಐವತ್ತು ಬಂದು ನಿಂತಿದೆ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯೀಸ್ಗಳ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಸುಮಾರು ಹತ್ತು ವರ್ಷದಿಂದ ನೇಮಕಾತಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಬೇಡಿಕೆಯನ್ನು ಇಡ್ತಲೇ ಬಂದಿದ್ದೀವಿ ನೌಕರ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆ ದಿನೇ ದಿನೇ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಹೊರತು ಇವರು ನೇಮಕಾತಿ ವಿಷಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾಳ ಉದಾಸೀನ ಮನೋಭಾವನೆಯನ್ನು ಮಂಡಳಿ ಆಡಳಿತ ವರ್ಗ ಹೋಗಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ನನಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಆದರೆ ಯಾವ ಕಪಿ ಮುಷ್ಟಿಗೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿ ಇವರು ಈ ರೀತಿ ನೇಮಕಾತಿ ಮಾಡದೇ ಇರೋದಂತ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಬಿ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಟು ಕ್ರೋರ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಕ್ರೋರ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಬಿಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆನ್ ಕ್ರೋರ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಆನ್ ಲೇಬರ್ ಅನದರ್ ಟೆನ್ ಕ್ರೋರ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸ್ಪೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ರಿಪೇರ್ಸ್ ದೋ ಅ ಡೆಡಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಅಸೈಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ರಿಪೇರ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಆರ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಫೇಸಿಂಗ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಟು ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಬಿ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ಕರ್ಡ್ ಲಾಸಸ್ ಟಿಲ್ ಡೇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಆರ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಮೋರ್ ಟು ವಿತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮೀಟ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಐ ಆನಂದ್ ಬುರ್ಲಿ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ನೈನ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು I mean again we have brought to you instances of fraud and scams in the name of loans and finances several people continue to fall into such traps today we bring you another shocking story take a look at this advertisement posted in a popular daily in bengaluru the ad posted by shriram finance claims to offer various types of loans including property agriculture and project loans at an attractive rate of 3% per annum any person in need of some immediate money is sure to be lured by the ad especially when it claims to provide the loan in 72 hours this is nagraj a bengalorian who claims he has fallen prey to this sham company nagraj was in need of money to sustain the financial needs of his family and expenditure for his marriage sought aid from Shriram Finance Private Limited to get a loan. Little did he know that all he was going to get was a huge hole in his pocket and the hard-hitting realization that he was probably cheated. Immediately after seeing this ad, Nagraj contacted the company seeking a loan. The company asked him to furnish certain details including his bank statements and other documents. Once these were mailed to the company, they sent him a letter claiming that he was eligible for a loan of 5 lakh rupees the news paper nodide nange loan bekagide yakandre nange commitment ittu modave ittu amale sulpa mane idella commitment ittu adakke nan loan ge paper nodide paper nodide bitu call maadide call maadida takshana avaru nino profile ella kalisbeku helidru avaru bank statement pan card yenano profile company alli maartiya adla statement email alli kalisilidru ಈಮನ್ ಕಳಿಸ್ಬಿಟ್ಟೆ ಕಳಿಸ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಆದಮೇಲೆ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಆಫರ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನೀವು ಇಷ್ಟು ಪೇ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ರೀಫಂಡ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಹೇಳಿದರು ಇಲೇಟೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೋನ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅಪ್ರೂವ್ಡ್ ನಾಗರಾಜ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕ್ ಟು ಅ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಟಿವ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಂಪನಿ ಟು ಗೈಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಬಿಗಿನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಷನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಲೋನ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಫೈನಾನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಡಿಮಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಂಪನಿ which needed the money to be transferred in the names of one Vikas Mittal and another Sandeep Chaudhary. Sanctioning fees, 6,200 rupees. Processing fee, 15,000 rupees. Government guarantee, 20,000 rupees. Bond agreement, 15,000 rupees. Life insurance, 18,000 rupees. Demand draft, 20,000 rupees. Flight charges, 12,000 rupees. commission 10000 rupees after giving in to these demands nagraj transferred a total of 116200 rupees in the name of vikas mittal and sandeep chaudhary listen in to some of the recorded conversations between nagraj and representatives of shriram finance aapka loan on 5 lakhs hai na ha 5 lakhs sir ha to ye mujhe bataiye kitne time ke liye tha जितना जल्दी होगा तो उतना जल्दी जमा कराइए अकाउंट नंबर में आपको मैसेज कर देता हूँ सर जी आपका पेमेंट मिलने के बाद में हाफ एन आवर में आपका पेमेंट मिलने के बाद मुझे रिसीव होगा जब आपका पेमेंट उसके विद इन थर्टी मिनट के बाद में आपको अटीजेस्ट करूंगा ಅಡಿಸ್ ಕಿತಾ ಕಿತಾ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಲ್ದಾ ಸರ್ 
After initial talks and demands, the tone of the company's representative began to change. When Nagraj asked him about the money, he began to hurl abuses and asked him to stop bothering them. Nagraj and his mother tried to plead and bargain with the company representatives, but once again, all they got were demands for more money. Hello? Yeah? Sir Nagraj? Yes, tell me. Sir, you have given me a company for this company. If you have given me a company for 5,000 rupees, I am going to transfer you to the bank. How do you have your fund? You have given me a company for 5,000 rupees. You have given me a company for 5,000 rupees. अभी आपका काम हो जाएगा मैंने आपका भी ट्रांसफर करा था आधा घंटे में आप मुझे अपना अकाउंट नंबर आईओसी सी को पैन कार्ड नंबर ये मुझे मैसेज कर दीजिए अभी अच्छा सर मैं रेडी करता सर पैसा रेडी करते कॉल करता सर हाँ जल्दी कीजिए जितना जल्दी हो सके क्योंकि सर का हॉलीडे है सर तुम्हारे हॉलीडे ओके फाइनली द आंसर दैट नागराज गॉट वर इधर दे डिड नॉट नो हु ही वॉज और दैट दे डिड नॉट रिसीव एनी मनी Nagraj is now left clueless and broke. His marriage, which was fixed, has been called off due to his financial woes. When he approached the police, they said that the company was Delhi-based and out of their jurisdiction. With a load of loan on his shoulders, Nagraj is now stranded. Why is there no check on the authenticity of advertisements posted in dailies? Where do such cheated people go to seek help? Many such scamsters loot gullible people, roam scot-free. Is it the fault of the loan seeker who is in dire need of money or are the fraud companies to blame? Deepak Bopanna, News 9, Bengaluru. Bengaluru's pothole-ridden roads are nothing new. Here are a group of re residents who protested to change that, but did it have the intended effect? Let's find out. Residents of Electronic City took to the streets in protest against the pathetic conditions of roads in the area. From youngsters to the aged, always seen chanting slogans against the corporation's negligence of their locality. Electronic City houses a host of residents from the IT industry. Niladri Road in Electronic City is one of the busiest roads in the area, used by thousands of commuters. Professionals working in Vipro take the road on a regular basis. The pathetic condition of this stretch has frustrated residents, especially after their complaints and attempts to grab the concerned authorities' attention went in vain. This is when the residents of Ajmera Apartments, which falls on Niladri Road, came together for a solution. Now, Ajmera, which is one of the private uh, apartments here, has come forward to, to contribute the money to actually build this road. Electronic City Industries Association has, on behalf of these residents, requested the government to repair this road. The government has come forward and agreed to do it, and a government order has been issued. PWD has come and actually surveyed the whole road. Next step is signing the MOU, which PWD will sign with LCA, which has taken responsibility to make sure the stretch is completed. This will be done only after the elections, not before. It looks like their efforts have finally paid off as the government has decided to take action post-elections. Just to give an update, I think you know we were just looking for this road problem from last two and a half years. We all residents together, all apartments, Ajmera Infinity started the initiative and moved, you know, and uh, Ganga Vertica, Mahaviri Tina and Concord. We all actually gathering last two days, every day, leaving our offices, standing 8.30 till 10.30, created a bus to actually let, let's make it, everybody together to make this road. Looks like there is a, some little bit of promises made from them, but we are going to wait till April 30th because the promises made by them is April 30th, they're going to make roads for us. If it is not happening, we are going to come again with a peace protest with larger crowd than what we are doing. Over 200 residents made sure their pleas were heard today. It has been stated that the roads will be mended after the elections. But will the government keep their word? That remains to be seen. Shubha Jojiga for News 9, Bengaluru. 
Eateries in Bengaluru have always been considered as the pride of the city, but a landmark restaurant on Laval Road is heading to a possible closure. Airlines Hotel on Laval Road has played host to thousands of Bengalurians for a piping cup of hot filter coffee and masala dosa for over four decades. But of late, the restaurant has been wearing a gloomy look. The landmark hotel, which has been around for almost half a century, is on the verge of being shut down permanently. The hotel authorities reportedly sought permission from the BBMP to extend their license, but to no avail. It has been stated that the High Court has directed the hotel to shut down regarding license issues. But the hotel management is now seeking support from the public to continue their business by signing a petition. See, since uh, 40, 45 years I am working in this hotel, and right from the beginning it is uh, one of the best hotels in Bangalore. Such an environment, uh, there is no other hotels to compete with our hotel. Even the customers who they come here for a breakfast or a lunch or dinner, and even uh, many parties we used to conduct, functions, marriages, so many social functions. And uh, we expect some amicable settlement. And even in the future also, uh, we will continue as our service to the public of Bangalore. And we hope that everything will be settled amicably. Many Bangaloreans have fond memories of this place. From young kids trotting around with their families to youngsters who come here for a relaxed evening. There are also the employees who took pride in working at the prestigious Landmark Hotel who are now shocked by the notice. Spread over 40,000 square feet, there are a few other food joints surrounding the sitting area, all of which have been shut down. Almost 150 employees are out of work since airlines were slapped with a notice to shut down. <laughs> ಕಾರಲ್ಲಿ <laughs> Another landmark in Bengaluru is soon going to be history. All that the management of airlines now hope for is the much needed support through the signing of the petition. Airlines has been shut for almost a week now. But loyalists just hope it's temporary. Maltesh for News 9, Bengaluru.